Hey, I'm back. Yes, I'm back again. Looking like a hurrah's nest. That's what my mom used to say. But y'all used to seeing me at, at my worst. So I know listen, I've been out in the wind and I, I ain't got time to fix my hair. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so I was sitting back there. You know, I did my video this morning of the challenge and we talked about eating out of boredom. I have was bored. I was bored out of my skull. Oh, I thought I saw something. And um, I'm like, I got to get out of this house. And so I went up to the next city. This takes me about 25 minutes to get up there. Country road the whole way. Me, my music, love it. I just absolutely love it. So I wanted to go to the Value Village up there. There's only two. There's that one and there's one here in my town. And I didn't go to mine. But I thought, I hadn't been up there in a while. They have good magazines. And so I just wanted to go and see what I could find. I went there. I um, come home, I'm like, well, I think I want to go to Goodwill. Have not been to Goodwill in months, literal months. They had remodeled. It looked like some of the other Goodwills I've been in. So I went in there. All I found in there was some shirts. I never, when I say never, I mean never, never look at the clothes. I used to, but then I just stopped looking because I got all these tank tops that I wear all the time and I'm like you know what I think I'll look for some long sleeve shirts so when I go out on some of these days like today I just wore my other the red shirt I had on this morning I got my lunch on it so I had to change I do care that much <laughs> to change my shirt with the spill on it <laughs> but I, I thought maybe some long sleeve shirts and some of these days like today that's all I would need would be a long sleeve shirt and no jacket, but I had on, you know, a tank top with the jacket over the a little, you know, little knit jacket. I don't know what you call it. Hoodie. Knit hoodie. Zip up hoodie. That's what you call it. So I went to the Goodwill. That's all I got there was some shirts. But even though this is a tiny haul, I wanted to share with you the jackpot that I found. The major score in my world it is a major score, and some of y'all will understand as soon as you see it. But let me show you the couple of things that I got first. And this is at the Value Village. I found another one of these. I want four. I have two. I want four. So instead of making a loaf of something, I can make four little ones. Well, they had like six or seven of these. This one was 80 cents. All the other ones were either $1.81 or two dollars and twelve cents. I don't know the difference, so I wouldn't go get. I wouldn't go pay that money for it just to have four. I don't have four now, and I'll just wait until I find another one. You know, this price. I'm sure I will. I see them a lot, but I don't pick them up. I don't know why. But for eighty cents, I picked it up. And then there was two sets of stamps. The other ones had some things on it that I don't need. Um, like one of them said, "Yum yum yum." I don't want a yum yum snap stamp. <laughs> it was just little odd stamps like that. But these I thought were pretty. These hearts. Let me get out of the glare. There you go. It was not six dollars, but it still was three, I think. Let me see. Three sixty. Oh, three sixty. Three sixty three. Which is more than I pay for stuff at the VV. But you pay more in the regular store for one of them. So that's why I got it. And then finally, okay, I love him. And he just beautiful. He was $3.93. And see, that's the thing about the Value Village. The first number is always the last number and whatever in between. So it's one something one, two something two, et cetera, et cetera. But isn't he just pretty? He, he don't have any markings on him, so I don't know where he come from. Don't really care. I just love him. He's very classy looking, I think. He's a classy looking owl. <laughs> and he's kind of like got like distressed look, kind of. So I think I know where I'm going to put him. I'm not sure. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my big score. So hang on. First, I want to show you this stack. This is just magazines that I cut up. To use in my journals so i found a big stack of those i was excited here's my score 
starting with Taste of Home. Those are all Taste of Home magazines. Somebody apparently was getting rid of their stash. So there's Taste of Home. Then there was this many quick cooking. Then there was this many light and tasty. And then there was a, I got a glare going on. There we go. Taste of Home Cooking School. Taste of Home Cooking for Two. And then two books. Why, where is that glare coming from? Here we, look, y'all see my garbage. Don't look at my garbage. <laughs> Taste of Home Best Ever Casserole book. And Taste of Home Church Supper Cookbook. Could those be two better cookbooks? Could they be? I don't think so. <laughs> so I know um, some of these I have already. I, I just know I can tell by looking at them. They're the older ones. But there's a, a lot of newer ones too. So Holly will be getting a lot of um, magazines of the duplicates. I've already given her some. And because she's starting to want to cook a little bit. And I, I'll be glad to help her in that. Um, learning process like I've told y'all before she didn't care nothing about it but now she's married with a kid she's starting to care about it so then she'll be getting a lot of these but I was so excited I was just loading my buggy up listen I got there five minutes after they opened I didn't realize they opened late I walked in and when you walk in you can look over to the left and you can see hold on a minute that's better. I'm just talking to you, looking at magazines. When you go in the door, you look to the left, and they have one of those big wall-mounted magazine things that you just, they have slots with the magazines in it. And I could tell when I looked, it was full. And the closer I got, I could see the taste of home. I could I could tell the way it looked. I was like, oh, there's taste of home. Listen, y'all know I walk slow as a slow. As a sloth, but in my mind, I was skipping over there. I was skipping. I was just skipping. I was like, please, nobody, nobody, please, nobody go to those magazines. Let me get there. And I got lucky. You can see. I was so excited. I'm glad David was home. He was out in the building. So I come in. Can you carry something in for me? What does he always say? I sure can. <laughs> we sure can. I sure will. That, that's his that's his thing. So he carried me for me, and I got them all sorted out here on the bar. And I'm so excited to go in there, and, well, I'm going to put them in order out here because Sebastian, Sebastian's bed, he'll tell you right quick, that's his bed. That's his room. His bed is covered with stuff for the Christmas party. So I'm going to put all these in order and see what I have and see what I have left. I'm so excited. That's why I say this is a tiny haul, but I had to share with you the wealth of magazines that I found and this how happy it made me. It made my day. So I, I, I de declare I'm not coming back again today. Two times is enough. <laughs> Two times is enough. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me on these crazy old videos. I appreciate it. I really do. So I'll see you in my next video.